Hey, what's up, beauties? I'm Marcus with Epic Life Gaming, and today for you guys, I have an all Dragon Raids three star in all these bases. So I wanted to do the Dragon Raids because I, I believe that dragons are still one of the best units to use in the game. I still think that all of them together have such a high hit power, such a high DPS that they can still single handedly one troop can three star a lot of bases now not many troops that you can do that with so say like um all barbarians all archers um all giants all wall breakers all goblins all you know pekkas all hog riders you know all minions if you just have one of all those troops it's very difficult to three star base but with all dragons they're so versatile and what they can do, I still think they're one of the best units in the games and that's why I still use them in Clan Wars. Now in Clan Wars, I don't strictly do all Dragon Raids. I bring, you know, at least 20 archers uh, and then I have my Clan Castle troops to take out their Clan Castle troops because it's a guarantee pretty much that they're going to have Clan Castle troops and their bases in their Clan Castle every single time. So I know to bring archers to lure them out and kind of help my dragons out a little bit. But um, on just, you know, when you're attacking, it's really easy to three-star these bases because most of the time they don't even have Clan troops. And if they do, a simple raid spell is able to take out just like this it's luckily all barbarians so they can't even do anything to my dragons they're gonna go over to my wizards and try to take them out um, which isn't gonna do much barbarian kings can't even hit them cannons can't hit them mortars can't hit them there's just so many different you know big bombs small bombs spring traps nothing can affect them except you know the seeking air missile um, and the uh, the other air balloons those can hit them but overall, I still think these are one of the best units in the game. And what I do is um, I can hold tw or ten, little, 10 dragons and then I bring three rage spells. And I pretty much three star almost all the bases that I run across. The only thing is though, you got to watch for builder's huts in the corners because that might slow them down and you might not three star the base that way. But other than that, you should do a good job. The three rage spells... Um, give them enough time to go through the base and speed them up a little bit because they're not as slow as the balloons. They do more damage and they move faster, but sometimes they are a little slow. If they're, you know, if you forget all four or five builder sets in all the corners, it may, t it may take them, you know, a good while to hit all those builder sets. So you just got to pay attention to that. Um, so pretty much what I do is I clear out a space when I'm just using all, um, dragons i clear out a good space using one or two dragons the area and then i send them in the closest to the most amount of air defenses that there are and now with this um versus the balloonian strategy you don't have to really worry too much about the air um <clears throat> the air defenses because they can be in the center they can be high you know high upgraded higher like level six, level five, I would suggest level five and below, but they can be higher up than a normal balloonian attack because they have such a high hit power that they can take a lot of damage. And with the rage spells, they do way more damage. Um, they move way faster and they're, they're lethal when they're in that rage spell, having a good time, three star and all that. Look at just how much damage they do. Watch this archer tower. Doesn't stand a chance. Boom. Um, it's just super simple. It's just kind of like, I would say, like a noob way to attack and do a good job. So if you are having trouble um, attacking higher level bases, just struggling, trying to gain trophies, this is a good way to do it. These dragons that I'm using are level 3 dragons. Now in this one, I just wanted to test, see if he did have any clan troops. So I drew him out with the uh, Barbarian King that I had, wasted him, draw my clan castle, and this mortar just wipes out my entire clan castle. Now watch this. They all group up right here. Oh, I might not show it. 
Why don't I show it? Oh, it must be the next raid. Um, you'll see they do splash damage to the troops. So it's almost like a lightning spell. Right here, you can kind of watch it as he takes out that next archer. Now watch. He'll boom. All down besides like two and then one more spray and all gone. <laughs> spray and it's, yeah, that, I don't know. That seemed funny to me. Remind me, remind me of Godson using his, uh, hero away spray. Um, but it's an, it's a good way to attack. They do splash damage. So that's awesome. So taking out clan troops is really easy. So you don't necessarily need to lure out the clan troops before you drop the dragons. I just like to do it, especially on a town hall eight base. I just, I think it's just a guarantee surefire way to make sure that you three star that base. And, they do just an excellent job, and I think I only had to do, look at that Valkyrie just sitting over there, not not knowing what to do. I didn't need to drop this rage spell, but I went ahead and did just to make sure I had enough time to three star this base because there's still a lot of high um, DP, you know, HP buildings left. So I wanted to make sure, and I think I had a couple builder's huts in the corners, which this is what I worry about. See, they have the builder's hut there, they have the builder's hut in this right-hand corner, and then they have a builder's hut in the top corner. So this is what you want to look out for. But look how beastly they look when they're flying through the air. Those things are just so awesome to look at. That's some good graphics, too. For a phone game, that looks pretty badass, if you ask me. That's pretty sick. All right, there it is. Another three-star. And that was a good amount of loot, too. Now, look at this base. This is a pretty well-upgraded Town Hall 8. They got some pretty high air defenses. And all, except that air defense on the outside, um, it must have just got finished up being upgraded. But, I mean, I really don't have to worry that that last air defense is down there at the bottom. And my dragons are going to take a while to get to it. Um, they're still going to be able to take enough damage to make it through the base. So that's what's nice about that. You know, look at that archer tower hitting that dr dragon. You can't even, like, visually see that health drop at each hit. Like, you can see it after, like, three or four hits. But visually, after every single hit, you can't even really see the health drop. And that's what's really awesome about these. I mean, that air defense, you're going to see a big hit because they do a high amount of damage. They're supposed to because you only have three on the map um, that do high damage to you know air troops but this is pretty awesome they just wipe through the base and there's not much that stands in their way and that's why i have to say that dragons are still the most op unit in the game single like single troop and i'm not saying that's the best strategy in the game just this one single troop that you're going to use this is it this is the troop composition to use. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and hit that like button. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You're going to get daily videos, fun content, and you get to hang out with me. So thank you guys for everything you're doing for this channel. Get ready for the base review that's coming out this week. You guys have a great day, and don't forget to stay beautiful.